Hello all investors and traders, welcome to Strike. Today we are exploring a very important tool in your trading arsenal that is the seasonality scanner. This powerful tool can redefine how you approach market cycles by leveraging on key data points like average return, median return, standard deviation, sharp ratio and many more. Are you ready to get your enhanced trading strategy with insightful analytics? Let's get started. First, let's understand what seasonality is. It refers to the tendency of stocks or indices to exhibit patterns of gains or losses during specific times of the year. This can be due to various factors like financial reporting cycles, consumer behavior changes or institutional investment patterns. Our focus today is to help you scan such opportunities and how to capitalize on these patterns. What you see on my screen right now is a simple seasonality grid that tells you month wise returns of the nifty. You can check it for any stock when you go into strike, you'll see it on the overview page. You can expand and see how the stock is giving monthly returns for the last few years. And you can also see the average return at the top for that particular month, both in a grid and a line format. Let's proceed to the scanner. So once you go to the scanners, you'll see the seasonality scanner here. If you are not able to see it, you can simply go to manage scanner and make sure it's selected. Now, a seasonality scanner scans through all the historical market data to identify recurring patterns. It's not really about predicting the future. It's more about understanding historical trends to make more informed decisions. Let's dive into the key data points our scanner provides. As you can see, there are various data points available here, namely annualized return, average return, median return, maximum gain, maximum loss, winners, total trades, win percentage, standard deviation and shark ratio. I'll quickly give an explanation of each one and then I'll show you how to use this insightful scanner. So the first thing you'll do here after landing up is selecting your start date. So that this means the date from which you want to see the results. So if I have selected 9th of January, then the scanner is scanning for from 9th of January for the next days as per my selection. So if I have selected 30 days, it is scanning for from 9th Jan to 9th Feb. If I have selected for 10 days, it will scan from 9th Jan to 19th Jan. Next is you can also like any other scanner select which all baskets you want to see. You only want to see the indices or you want to see the baskets, uh, FNO baskets as well. You can select your test period as 5 years or 10 years, depends upon how much data you want to see. And the next thing you can choose is uh, whether you want to see bullish results or bearish results. So in my case, I am currently selected start date as today, that is 9th of January. 10 years is the back test period. I am looking for only indices for the next 10 days and I am looking for bullish opportunities. These are the results I am seeing. So let's first understand uh, each of the parameters before we dive further. The average return is the basically the uh, mean return or the average for all the returns received during the last 10 years. So whatever this index has returned over the last 10 years for these particular dates, this column highlights the average return of that. Next is the median. Median means the midpoint of all the returns. So if all the returns have ranged from 1 to 3%, the median in this case is close to 2%. The maximum gain is what is the maximum return that this symbol has returned during only these 10 days in the last 10 years. And opposite to that is the maximum loss, which is the highest loss it made during these days in any of the years. Next is winners, which means uh, your since we are looking at bullish right now. So eight means that eight out of the 10 total trades were winners. So it was positive for eight out of the 10 years for this particular days, which means your win percentage is 80. That is eight divided by 10. Now standard deviation is how much the uh, returns are, you know, deviating from the average return. So if a standard deviation is uh, very high, it, it represents volatility and risk. And if standard deviation is low, which means the returns are not really uh, deviating a lot from the average. 
so it means uh, there is less risk the next and the very last but not the least parameter that you see here is the sharp ratio sharp ratio is the calculation for risk adjusted return it will basically take up the return and divide it by the standard deviation so if a standard deviation is very high you'll end up with a lower sharp ratio and if standard deviation is uh, low you'll get a higher sharp ratio so the higher the better in case of sharp ratio so if you are seeing a suitable result for the next selected days along with the uh, standard deviation lower standard deviation and a good sharp ratio that is a good sign of how to scanning using this scanner you have the flexibility to choose from some of the historical dates so for example if you were using this scanner back on you know maybe the beginning of december so let's say 8th of december then the only two bullish sectors based on seasonality is nifty it and nifty pharma with a win rate of 70 and 60 percent each and the sharp ratio of nifty it is definitely better than the nifty pharma so let's look at this days uh, that is 8th of december for the next 10 days the seasonality on the nifty it chart itself So where is 8th? Yeah, this is 8th of December. Yeah, till 18th. So yeah, Nifty IT itself has given 7% uh, positive returns this last year. So this is how you can even backtest for certain dates and also scan for future dates. So if I'm looking at today for the next 30 days, Again, I'm able to see only Nifty IT and Nifty consumer durables uh, in the bullish sectors and we look into the bearish, then many of the sectors are coming in the bearish list. So this is how you will be using the seasonality module based on different durations that you want to see. Now the same thing can be done for stocks itself. Let's say we go back to the 8th of December and we have finalized that yeah, Nifty IT is looking good. Now you can drill down further whether you want to look at your own watch list or any broader index or FNO basket or in this case just the selected index itself. So if we select at, uh, select the nifty IT we can see the individual seasonality of all the components which are bullish during the states. So we can see the win rate is ranging from 85 to 60 percent and we have sorted on the sharp ratio so if we try to sort on sharp ratio then ltim and persistent are coming at top followed by np now if you want to look at just the fno stocks that can also be done here now if i selected fno basket i am able to see individual seasonality of all the components now few tips from our side is that always use this scanner as a part of a broader analysis historical trends don't guarantee future results so complement this data with your current market analysis and most importantly align your findings with your risk tolerance and investment goals in conclusion the seasonality scanner will help you find possible periods where a particular stock or a sector has the tendency to perform which is where you can drill down further into your own setup and do your analysis and try to be on the right side of the market so try to embrace this tool within your trading strategy which is backed by data and do let us know what you think about it and comment on this video if you have any questions or you want us to cover more topics so thank you for tuning in do like share and subscribe our channel strike thank you for watching